Hello, today we're going to look at the derivation of the Lagrange equations of motion. So this lecture will be split into several videos. So to start with, let's consider a system of particles of k equals 1 to mp, where mp is just a definite number of particles in our system, okay, the total number of particles. So we're going to let rk denote the position of the kth particle relative to an inertial reference frame. An inertial reference frame is simply a reference frame that is not accelerating. In other words, travelling at a constant velocity in a straight line. So we're going to let Fk be the resultant force acting on the mass Mk of the kth particle. Okay, so this is very simple. From Newton's second law, we get the force is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, the force on the kth particle is equal to the mass of the kth particle multiplied by the acceleration of the kth particle. Okay, as k equals 1 to mp. And we can rearrange it uh, so it becomes 0, f minus m8 equals 0. Okay, so we're going to let delta rk be a virtual displacement that is compatible with all constraints on the motion of the kth particle. Clearly, any motion rk that satisfies r prime satisfies for all delta rk. Okay, so what we get is we have the sum as k equals 1 to mp of fk minus mk r double dot k, which you have here. And we uh, take the dot product of delta rk, we can see it's going to also be 0 because this is simply 0 and it's compatible. So, equations 1 double dash is for dynamical systems. The analogue of the statement that the virtual work of a system in equilibrium vanishes for all compatible virtual displacements of the system. So I hope you got that. So that's our first general equation. Okay. So now we're going to consider the decomposition of our force. So our force Fk that satisfies our prime satisfies our uh, double prime, as we know, that's our se uh, Newton's second law. The decomposition is in the form Fk equals capital Fk plus capital Rk as k equals 1 to Np. Okay, where Rk is the force due to the constraints and capital Fk is the resultant of all other forces acting on the kth particle. Okay, then because the constraint forces capital RK do not work during motions compatible with the constraints, i.e. RK dotted with delta RK is zero, our Newton's second law becomes thus. We have our summation, but we simply um, substitute our lowercase f for capital F, okay, which we have here. Remember, R is not compatible in this case with our constraints, okay, and that's equal to zero. Right, so Newton's second law becomes uh, this for all compatible delta RK. So this equation is the form of Newton's second law for constrained dynamical systems. Okay, for holonomic dynamical systems with n degrees of freedom, all displacements RK can be expressed in terms of n independent generalized coordinates q1t to qnt by means of transformation equations of the form rk equals rk from q1t all the way to qnt and then we have a component of t time as k equals 1 to np. Okay, so a holonomic dynamical system is one that restricts the trajectories of all particles. Okay, it restricts their displacements onto a smooth manifold. Okay, that's a simple de um, definition. I will do videos on holonomic dynamical systems in the future. Okay, so that is our transformation equations that should be quite familiar. So, let's go on to the next part. So, consequently, compatible virtual displacements delta RK 
can be expressed in terms of virtual changes delta qj in generalized coordinates with time held constant by delta rk is equal to the sum as j equals 1 to n of the partial derivative of rk with respect to qj times delta qj and this simply cancels to delta rk. All right. Then the virtual work delta w associated with delta rk can be written as delta w is equivalent to the sum as k equals 1 to mp of fk dot of drk and this is simply equal to what well, you just substitute delta rk for our equation here and we get our double sum of this okay that makes sense or we can write it as delta w equals the sum as j equals 1 to n of qj delta qj where qj is equivalent to the sum as k equals 1 to np of a fk capital fk remember multiplied by the partial derivative all right so i let that sink in you can pause the video and just go over that quickly okay so where this is the generalized forces corresponding to the generalized coordinates qj all right so Expressing the virtual work term in equation one triple dash, okay, if you remember, triple dash was this one here, all right, Newton's second law for uh, our constraints, okay, so expressing the virtual work term in that equation, in terms of generalised forces and displacements, we can write the equation in the form we have here. All right, we take the sum of a force dotted with drk is equal to the sum as of qj delta qj, or we can substitute delta rk for this. All right, so remember our qj was this here, okay, and therefore if q is equal to fk dotted delta, uh, delta r, sorry, the partial derivative of r with respect to qj, therefore, that these should be equal. All right? And we can just write it as this. Okay, or interchanging the order of summation, we can also get this here. Okay, that's equations two. So, um, in the next video, i carry on from here. I just want to let that sink in. You can rewind and just make sure all that makes sense. So, I'll see you in the next video.